Welcome! In this video, I will present my solution to the Code Wars Kata Break Camel Case. The instructions are, complete the solution so that the function will break up camel case using a space between words. So we have something that starts in camel casing, and it goes to camel casing in with a space between it. There you go. Next, there's an identifier, goes to identifier. There's no camel case, so there's no space. And an empty string goes to an empty string. I'm going to start by handling the case of the empty string. And when I was first working through this problem, I naively tried to say if in if parenthesis input equal this return this. That apparently didn't work. So what I had to do instead was find take the input string and find the length and see if that's equal to zero. That's a better test for whether the input is the empty string. Okay, so we've taken care of that case. What should we think about next? Well, it turns out that the method I want to use, the method is a char is a method of the character class. Character dot is upper case, in fact, is the method, and you can put us a, a character there. So that's what I'm going to be using. Fortunately, there's an easy way to get to, to get from a string to an array of characters. So I'm going to declare an array of characters. Character array characters is the input array dot to char array. And let's stop here and debug that output just to make sure it's making sense. Comment that out because it's not ready. Return null. Um, it's going to complain because it wants to return a string, so I'll just return an empty string for now. Run that test. Ah, semi semicolon expected. I think I wrote a semicolon. What if I just type foo? Oh, it's up here, huh? Semicolons. I guess a character array just gets printed as looks like a character. So now let's loop through that character array. For int i equals zero using a for loop. I less than input dot length. Minus one. Um, I'm, I'm only only going up to minus one because I'm going to be comparing to the next character, and I don't want to get an index out of bounds error. Uh, I plus plus bracket. I'm going to say the result is equal to result plus characters at I, and what's happening here is kind of interesting because result, well I haven't even declared result yet, so I should probably do that. Over here, string, string variable result equals, and I'll just start it as the empty string. Result plus character at i of the character array. So I'm taking a string and concatenating with it with a character. Is that legal? It turns out, yes, it is, because Java automatically autoboxes the, um, the character as a, as a character upper space, so an object. And then there must be some magic that lets strings and characters be concatenated together. That seems like a, re like a nice thing for the program, for Java to be able to do for us. So I've handled, we've, we're on the first letter here. We put that letter in. 
Now we need to decide whether to move on to the next letter or insert a space. And how do we make that determination? We have to ask if I'm going to take out these commented lines. They're just make they're just making things messy. If um, character method dot the thing I just deleted is the thing I'm typing now. That's funny. Is uppercase. So we have that method, and we want to apply it to the next character in our character array. If that's the case, then resolve equals result plus a string with just a space bar in it, with just a space in it. And I don't want to return foo, I want to return result. Let's go ahead and test that. Restel. That's an error. Cannot find symbol character. Okay, characters. Always debugging. Ah, I forgot the last letter. Expected camel casing, but got camel case in. That's because I forgot that in my solution. I remember we only went up to less than character length minus one. Um, so character length minus one is the last character, but i is less than that, so one less than the last character is the second to last character. So we need to concatenate this tech, the last character. We need to add the last character onto our result string. So result equal result plus characters at um, input dot length minus one. Now let's try it. Passed. Hooray. Okay, and there's my solution. Thanks for watching.